700T was very much a device ahead of its time. The device would be used outside in a lot of different environments that computers hadn't functioned prior to then. We were one of the first to use magnesium case material. We had an integrated heat sink with no moving parts, no fans in it, so the device was fully sealed. Rather than a spinning hard drive, the device used a solid straight hard drive card, which is common in today's devices, but back then was unheard of. Handwriting recognition was largely experimental up to that time. It took a lot of invention. The idea of the tablet, that in itself transformed into many of the devices that we have today. The 700T only had 20 megabyte storage. The ThinkPad 8 tablet has up to 128 gigabytes. We also use aluminum casing to help with heat dispersion and also be able to be 8.8 .8 millimeters thin. We had to put magnets because we wanted to make it very easy to put the case. Combining the wireless, the magnets, and making sure that you don't have interference between each one of those functions becomes a big challenge. We had to do a lot of work within our team to make the wireless line work properly. Many tablets don't have many ports or capabilities, but we do in the ThinkPad 8. USB 3.0 and also we put a micro HDMI. With the ThinkPad 8 and the new uh, quad-core processor that we have in these uh, devices, now you have enough performance that allows you to run PowerPoint and Outlook very fast. At the same time that you might be multitasking going into the internet or watching a video. The visual impressions, the aluminum cover, the thinness, the battery life, the stereo speakers, the beautiful screen, big storage, all those things put together into these small devices that makes it very, very compelling. And that's why people like it so much. The idea is to make the device conform to the customer needs. The 700T was all about that. The ThinkPad 8 is all about that. And this drove it then, and it still drives Think today. Thank you.